Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am doing my October wrap up and November homeschool plan video. I actually wasn't anticipating filming this video. Follow me, you know that we are in the middle of a cross country move. I am at an Airbnb as we speak. So um, I am filming on my cell phone and uploading and editing all on my cell phone. So this is not my normal video setup, but I have time and there has been some stuff going on. So I thought we would do a quick update. I also asked over on my Instagram if you guys had any questions since I've been a little bit quiet lately. Um, so I'm gonna answer some of those questions as well. So let's get into our October update. We didn't homeschool the entire month of October, I believe. Um, yeah, I think I kind of cut it off. I needed to get stuff packed. My kids were super busy. They were in co-op um, twice a week and they had lots of other activities going on as well. So that kept them pretty busy. Um, and then it just made me feel better to get everything packed. So they were not doing any of our normal plan school or curriculum or anything like that. So we started traveling almost or exactly a week ago now. So we've been on the road um, in Airbnbs for a week now. The Airbnb we are at now, we are at for seven nights. And so we do finally feel settled and we are in the city we're gonna be living in. So once we like actually got settled, I think it was like two days in, I was like, okay, what do we do now? Like I'm working, so like I feel like I'm getting some sense of normalcy and my kids are bored. They don't have co-op, a group of friends, all those things. So I was like, okay. I should have brought our school with us. So that was like my first regret. I was like, it would have been so easy for me to just pe pick up some of their moving beyond the page units. I could have brought my daughter's computer so they could have done their math. I could have brought some of my son's workbooks, but there was just so much going on that that really was just not on the top of my mind. It was not a priority. So what I decided to do is one, um, Gather Round released an election unit, which I actually just filmed a video on and that one is out already. Cause I wanted to make sure you guys saw that because that election unit is specifically for the 2020, 2024 election. And you're supposed to do it on the day before the election and the day of the election. So I bought that um, because it was a digital copy and then I knew I needed to get it printed. Um, I actually used Office Max. I think that's what it's called here. Um, I just was, I did it all on my phone cause I don't have a printer. I don't have a computer here. And so, I purchased it on Gather Round and then downloaded the files to my phone. And then you're able to upload files on Office Max, like on their website and then have them printed out. So I was doing that for the election unit. And then I was like, why don't I just do another Gather Round unit as well? That's what we can do on. That was kind of my plan anyways, to do more. I don't want to say Gather Round is like lighter school, but it is. Um, it doesn't seem as heavy as all the other subjects my kids do all the time. And I was like, we can all do it together. So we can spend a couple hours every day working through these units. I've never done a gather round unit at three different levels. I've normally combined my daughters at the same levels, but this time I have my son doing pre-reader, my middle daughter doing upper elementary, and then my oldest daughter doing middle school. So I had to get that those units printed and that was a full unit. So that was a lot of stuff being printed. So I did all of that yesterday um, in the morning. And then later on in the day, I went and picked it up from Office Max. And then we actually just did our first day of school today and everything went well. I forgot how much I like to gather around units and I forgot how much I love all of us doing school together because this year we have not been doing school together. Everyone's kind of been silo doing their own subjects independently. And it was so nice to sit down and all do school together. My son surprised the heck out of me. He sat there, he was more coloring um, while I was reading, because there is a lot of reading with gather around units, but it worked great. It, it worked great. I never felt like I didn't have enough time for one of the kids. They were all able to complete their like individual leveled work and stuff. So it ended up working out really, really well. We're doing the artist unit. Um, and if you're not familiar with Gather Round, they do combine all subjects except math. So they are covering language arts, reading, science, social studies, history, all in the unit. But obviously this one is very art heavy. We're learning about different types of art and artists. 
Um, and so I thought that would be fun too, to kind of give them something to do because we got done with the lesson and then we were doing some of the extension activities where they had to do an art project. So I felt like this was a good one. This was one my girls requested specifically to do. Um, once we actually get through most of the lesson, I'll probably do an update because uh, we only completed lesson one so far. So that was not planned, but I'm excited. I think that's gonna work really great for us. We actually get to move into our house in like a week and two days. Um, and then obviously we'll have most of our stuff, but again, the homeschool boxes are gonna be like the lowest priority to unpack. We need to get everything else unpacked. And so we will just continue working on this unit through that, which is super easy because you really just need the unit. I have my iPad, have smart supplies, and we're doing great. Um, we're also going to uh, add on that election unit next week. Um, I'm going to, I talked about it in that other video, how I'm going to break it up, but that unit isn't very heavy. Um, it, so it shouldn't take us long. So we're going to add that in next week. I also bought on Teachers Pay Teachers, these two math project based learning activities, one for my fourth grader, you open a donut shop, but you're doing fourth grade equivalent math, like throughout the process. And then I got the sixth grade one opening a coffee shop for my sixth grade daughter. So I'll probably add those in too, like once we get back in the flow of really doing school. Um, I don't wanna do it all at once and go crazy. So that will be what my older daughters are doing for math. And then my son, I just literally grabbed a Sharpie and a piece of paper and wrote some addition problems for him. That's what he did today. Tomorrow, I'll probably have him practice writing some of his numbers. That's what we're doing, nothing crazy. Again, it's getting more back into a routine and flow is what we're missing more than anything. So that is how our October went, how we're starting off, or the end of October, how we're starting off in November. Um, I don't see us going back to like our full blown curriculum, probably till end of November or December. So you'll have to wait for that update to see what we actually end up doing. And then we're getting in the holidays too, but the holidays probably won't be as crazy for us because we don't have any family here or anything and it will just be an update. Um, I forgot the last time I updated, I was still super sick. So I was talking about how sick I was in that video and I thought I was feeling better, but after I filmed that video, I actually got worse again. And one of you commented about something, some bacterial infection you got in Disneyland in California. And I'm so thankful that you commented that because I went back to the doctor and told them specifically that. And yeah, so I had, to, that was six weeks of being sick, like very bad cough. I could barely talk. I can't even like remember it now because I feel so good. Um, but I had to do a very strong antibiotic that could kill this bacteria. So basically it's like this bacteria that can live in like human environments. So it's very popular in like amusement parks and in hotel rooms. And I can't even think of the name of it right now. Um, anyway, so as soon as I told the doctor that, and they like actually, cause all the other doctors, I told them I had traveled, but I hadn't told them I went to like Disneyland or anything like that specific. And um, so finally I got this very strong antibiotic, which I hate taking, but like I, there was nothing that I could do to get better. And so thank you who told me that because you're the reason I got better. As soon as I had that antibiotic, like two or three days later, I finally felt relief and it finally was gone. And that was just a couple weeks before our big trip. So I'm so thankful that I was able to get better and recover and all of that. And so I've been feeling great and good and all of that. So thank you, whoever you were. I can't remember your username on YouTube, but I highly, highly appreciate you telling me that. Um, okay, so let's get into some updates. I asked over on my Instagram, um, what you guys want to know, you know, I know this is my homeschool channel. I'm documenting my move and all the vlogs on my other channel. So if you're not following that, I'll link it, but I figured I'd answer for you guys here too. Um, cause some of you did ask some move related questions. So let's jump in to those questions. Um, first two questions I got, I think it's because I said I was filming on my phone and I normally don't film on my phone. Um, they ask what I use to film and edit my videos. So I use a Sony ZV-1 camera 
I love it. Uh, it was the best investment I ever made. It's super easy to use. I mean, all I do is turn it on and record and then I upload to my computer. I'm sure it has a ton of hundred fancy features, but it works. It's always worked just great. I've had it for three years now. Um, and then I use Filmora Wondershare, Filmora Wondershare, or vice versa, on my desktop computer to edit my videos. So I've also pretty much used that forever. You do have to pay for it, but it edits my videos easily for me. Um, and then I upload everything. I think I have links for both of those, like the camera I use, and then I have a like referral code, I think, to the video editing software. So that are those questions answered. They're all about moving, so I'll answer. Some of you asked like multiple questions in one. So first one, how I'll just talk about quickly how the trip was. Um, we drove 21 hours over four days. Uh, no, it wasn't awesome. I don't like driving in general, or be, I wasn't driving. My husband was driving. I don't like being in cars. Um, we had all three of our kids and two larger dogs with us. Dogs were not a fan. Um, <clears throat> our vet gave us like sedation, anti-anxiety type pills. So the dogs actually did better like in the car. They slept the entire trip. Like they were rock stars when we were in the car. Um, if we were to stop and try to like let them out to go to the bathroom or give them water, they would not go to the bathroom. They would not drink water. It was just like a chaotic thing. So we learned that quickly to just drive straight through. The kids were absolutely amazing. Never one complaint. They kept themselves pretty busy or just slept. We had a lot of snacks. Um, we really didn't stop much. Um, Cause one, there was like literally nowhere to stop. So our GPS was taking us on some back roads. We saved a lot of time, but there was nothing for hours, like nowhere to stop, nothing. And so um, I, I mean, I'm glad we made good time, but I'm also glad we were very prepared. Like we were always make sure we were like stocked up on gas because I'm not kidding. We would go hundreds and hundreds of miles with nothing. And so, um, yeah, it was interesting. We drove, we drove all the way pretty much through Utah, all the way through Wyoming, all the way through like the east side, all the way from like southeast to northeast Montana and then into North Dakota. So um wyoming is absolutely nothing montana is really a bunch of nothing too and really so is north dakota so utah was probably the most exciting to drive through but really if you're a coffee drinker there's really no coffee shops either to stop in which um my husband was having a really hard time listening or understanding that they don't just have a lot of they don't have starbucks on every corner it's just not popular there um, so the, that went fine. It was very exhausting because we would drive for like five hours, go check into an Airbnb, sleep, wake up and do it again. So it's just a lot like, you know, bringing everything in from the car, trying to settle for a day and then just redoing it. Um, we got a little bit of a break. We did stay somewhere for two nights, which was nice. We just had like one day to like reset. Um, and then now this is the third Airbnb, the fourth place we've stayed because we stayed at like a KOA campground one night. So we've been at this Airbnb the longest. I think we're on our fourth or fifth night now. <coughs> and it's super nice to settle, but we are starting to get bored and antsy. Um, I'm working, so that's kind of keeping me busy. We just started school back, so keeping the kids busy. My husband is super antsy, but he starts work next week. So we just want to really be in our house, to be honest. Um, we are in the city we're going to be living in, and the city's not that big. Last night, we did go to the house we're actually going to be living in. We met the owners because they're moving out. So we met them. We got to see the house. They, like, you know, taught us all the things about their house. They're super nice. We got to see the neighborhood we're going to be living in. Um, so, yes, I love where we're staying in this Airbnb, but we're staying probably in, like, the older part of the city. So, there's a lot of, like, bigger trees, older houses, has a charm that's, like, super cute. Like, I feel like I'm in a set of, like, an older movie in fall. Um, our, our, where we're actually going to be living is more on the outskirts. It's a newer neighborhood. Uh, there's not much out there. There's really no trees or anything. Um, so it's a little bit different, but I absolutely love it. I think there wasn't really many options of houses to choose for rentals. I think we got a great house. 
The owners are amazing. So that really is going to help. And yeah, we're learning the city. Um, I mean, we did a lot, a lot of research, so we knew a lot about it already. So like nothing is surprising us. I love getting stuff delivered and I haven't had an issue yet. Like Walmart delivers same day or next day. There's some Instacart stores that you can have things delivered. There's Uber Eats, so you can have food delivered. Um, the only thing is like Amazon takes like at least five days. So that will probably be the only thing I have to get used to is like, there's no more same day or next day Amazon delivery for me, which I did also like know ahead of time. So it's not that crazy. Um, so yeah, that it's all been great. Everyone we've met has been great. The Airbnb we're in right now, the day we got here, actually we had an issue. There was a gas leak, which seems kind of crazy. Um, so we had to have the gas company come out and then we had to have a plumber come out. And so like they were out within, like the gas company was out within like 15 minutes of calling them. The plumber came the same, like next day. So, I mean, it. it's not like we're in that small of a city where things don't exist. Like everything is flowing and running. There's every store you can imagine here. Um, when we were in our neighborhood, we learned like there's a bunch of kids that are next door. There's a bunch of kids in the neighborhood. So that kind of made me feel better about my kids making friends and stuff. And so, yes, we are happy. We are excited. We just want to be in our house, get our stuff, start settling in that way. It's very weird when you're like in an Airbnb in like a different neighborhood than you're going to be living in because it's like, we don't need to know these streets you know, we're not going to be living in this neighborhood. We're going to be, you know, 15 or not 15 miles away. The whole city's like 15 miles, but we're like seven minutes away, 10 miles away. And so we need to learn that area of town, um, more than where we're staying at right now. So it has been good. Um, somebody asked, how did I deal with leaving family behind? It was rough that last week. That was the hardest part. And that was weighing so much and making everything else seem stressful and that's what my husband and I kept talking about was it wasn't the packing or the moving it's just that stuff seemed stressful because of the the personal element we were so emotionally sad leaving our family and friends um we are very close with our family and friends and we our kids are very close with our family and so that that was the thing that kept like oh my gosh are we making the wrong decision like what are we doing why would we do this um now that we've left i feel better like obviously we still miss them but it's going to be okay the city that we picked specifically um was because they have an airport and that the airport has direct flights back home so there are two direct flights every single week that are two hours back home. And I did that intentionally so we could go back and visit and our family could come here and visit. So it's not like we're never going to see them again. Um, you know, I'm flexible because I work remote. Kids are homeschooled. So we're definitely going to make effort to travel once we get settled and get through winter. <clears throat> Um, we, you know, are taking an adventure as a family and it is very sad to leave family. I know the holidays are going to be a little rough. Um, we've never had just us celebrate a holiday together. We've always had a large gathering. And so that will be something that, you know, we just have to adjust to. But besides that, um, we are excited. Like I said, I, we just want to be in our house and like be able to settle, but so far, we really, really like the town. We love everyone we've met so far. Um, we think we made a good decision. You know, time will tell. We'll see what happens when it actually starts snowing. I will say the weather. Oh, that was it. Everybody asked about the weather. Um, <clears throat> it's only been in like the 40s and 50s. I think it drops to the 20s at night, but obviously I'm not outside at nighttime. Um, we were in Wyoming and we woke up one morning and it was like 25 degrees outside and we weren't preparing it. The weather app said it wasn't going to go below freezing. So I had a bunch of electronics in the car and I freaked out because I, I've never dealt with that cold of temperature. Like I actually realized I have never been in, in 20 degree weather my entire life. But then I went outside and I was fine. <laughs> so um, 
30s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, like we're fine. We're loving it. We're enjoying it. Like we were completely prepared clothing wise. So um, it's nice. It's a nice break um, from the heat. You know, we were obviously talking to the people that were buying the house or renting the house from and they said as long as it's above zero, it's really not that bad. I even had, I have this like North Face I don't know if it's behind me. It's like, it's just like a North Face, like Sherpa pullover sweatshirt. And it was probably like 39 degrees when we were out yesterday. I was sweating, like sweating from wearing that. And I was wearing a tank top under, I just had a tank top and put that Sherpa sweatshirt on. I was sweating. So uh, definitely need to get better with like learning how to layer and like, you probably don't, cause people have all their heat running. So just like getting better with layering because we are getting hot. Like it's almost like we have too thick of clothing right now. We need to kind of layer down a little bit um, and then just like bring sweatshirts and stuff. So we're still learning, adjusting. And again, we're living out of suitcases. So we really don't have that many options, um, but the weather has not been that bad. <laughs> um, and that's not normal. Like they all said it's normally much colder. There's normally snow by now. And so we do anticipate it obviously getting much worse weather wise. Um, you know, we were learning about blizzards and you know, the people that we were getting the house from, you know, they got stuck in their house for four days and uh, the street our house is on isn't maintained by the city. So it doesn't get plowed. Uh, so just, you know, learning those kind of things and figuring out like, what do you do? Like, you know, they were showing me pictures of the snow literally covering their door for days. And, I, and my first thought is how do my dogs go outside? They don't have dogs. So just kind of learning some of that stuff. Like we had to learn about, um, there's like windows in the basement and there's like drains for stuff. Um, you know, we just don't have that kind of stuff. And so just learning all of that, making sure we're prepared. Thankfully, I work remote and my husband will also have the option to work remote if he wants. And so, you know, we are anticipating, you know, we're just, if we don't have to deal with the bad weather, we're not going to deal with it. If we don't have to go out in it, we don't. We're pretty stocked up normally, like food wise, supply wise. So I'm not super worried about it. I'm actually really excited. I can't wait till it snows. I like cannot wait till everything is just white because I've never experienced that before. So I may be regretting that in a few months, <laughs> but we'll see. All right. So that is my October wrap up November update. That was unplanned. I really don't know if I'll have other videos. I may try to do a day in the life. We'll see how editing and uploading this goes. Um, but I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching this video. I haven't been posting videos. So YouTube I'm sure is like banishing me and not promoting my videos. So anything you can do, give this video a like comment, Subscribe if you're not subscribed, share the video. I appreciate it because I promise my videos will be back soon. But thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye guys.